Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today, guys, we are going to be looking at the PS5 reveal stuff. The stuff that we revealed for the PS5 stream that was last night. I couldn't stream it because PSN was, uh, PSN did not allow me to stream it on my PS4. So I was like, frick, um, first, let's just do a prayer. Welcome all, far and wide. As for I will take your girl and wife. So let us all sit down and cry for the horrendous price of the PS5. Spider-Man 2, guys. It's not Spider-Man 2. It's Spider-Man Miles Morales. The trailer was so good. I was like, wait, is this like Detroit Become Human or something? But apparently it is, in fact, Spider-Man Miles Morales. So yeah, we got Spider-Man Miles Morales. And we're so happy for that because the DLC also included stuff about Miles Morales too. We were like, hmm, when's he gonna get his next game though? And then, I guess it's gonna be a game, or it could be a DLC. I think this is going to be a DLC, because I don't think this is gonna be a fully-fledged game. But it would be nice if it was a fully-fledged game. And Horizon 2, man. Horizon Forbidden West, yo. Now I have to finish Horizon Zero Dawn right now, because I've started the game, I have it in my drawers, collecting dust. I haven't played it in so long, I need to finish this game. My friend keeps on telling me, I know, shut up, I will finally finish it. But yeah, I'm definitely finishing that before I play Forbidden West, because that looks really cool. At the beginning of the stream though, I was about to implode and explode, because I thought it was going to be GTA 6. But it was in fact GTA 5 for the PS5. It's on three consoles, dude. It's on three generations. Three now! <laughs> so like, when is GTA 6 gonna come, you know? We got Hitman 3 as well, that's cool as well. Deathloop, which looks pretty nice as well, you know? Um, I like that theme of like, dying and then coming back. It's really cool. And we got Little Big Planet, but not a Little Big Planet 4, guys. We got a spin-off series which is about Sackboy. And you know we all love Sackboy. Little Big Planet was my childhood boys. It's like Mario 3D World mixed with Little Big Planet. But I don't think you're gonna be able to create your own levels in that. Cause you know that's a little big planet thing, you know what I'm saying? We got Ghostwire Tokyo. That game looks mad. That game looks mad man. Even though it doesn't seem that scary to me, it looks like a horror game. It's a horror game based in Tokyo. So that's gonna be really sick. We got Resident Evil Village or Resident Evil 8. That looks sick. I have Resident Evil 7, but I haven't played a lot. I've started playing that yet, that, and I'm enjoying it so far. I just haven't touched it in so long. I'll just probably leave that for a stream. And we'll, you know, play together, you know, as a family. Please check out my stream. We didn't get that amazing indie games. There were some indie games that were pretty cool. Like, uh, we got Kenna. Kenna, Kenna. We got Kenna Bridge of Spirits, which looks great. It looks pretty nice, you know. It looks clean and cute and, you know, seems like just a soft game. Such a soft, soft game, fam. Yeah, Project Asia looks pretty cool too. It looks like a Dark Souls game. Project Asia looks really, really sick. I was pretty low-key hyped for that because it looks like a really good Souls game. Chat, it looks like a really good Souls game and I'm, and I'm excited for that one, especially the beasts. The beasts look freaking crazy on that thing. But yeah, that's really it. That's really what I'm excited for. I'm not too excited about uh, some of the indie games I got there. Like Bug Snacks. What's Bug Snacks? And then finally, at the end of the stream, we finally got the design release of the PS5. Now guys, this is literally the future. It looks so clean, dude. Looking like a V shape, you know? And you know, it's ju it just looks sick. But then what, what made me go question mark in my head was when they also showed the digital edition. There's a digital edition that doesn't have a disc drive. I was like, dang, the console's gonna look really good. But does this mean that in the future we're not gonna have any more disk drives? Like for me, I find it hard purchasing stuff online, especially when it comes to games. I never really buy games. If I really want to buy something, I have to buy the gift card. Then from there, I'll buy the game. So I don't really know if that's gonna be the move for the future. Cause I, cause I like collecting games. I have a full drawer full of games now. Look at all of this. I got a bunch of games, boys. I mean, look at this. I even have more. I have like two two more piles. Like, I haven't finished any of them. <laughs> but other than that, the controller, I'm actually, a bit, I'm actually warming up a lot more to the controller now. First time when I saw it, I was like, uh, but yeah, this looks really great. 
But be careful guys, we haven't seen the price. That was why I said the prayer today. Let's say it again guys. Welcome all far and wide. As for I will take your girl and wife. So let us all sit down and cry for the horrendous price of the PS5. And with that guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for sitting around watching me talk again. I'm still on a break. Alright, I'm not coming back as soon as you think. If I want to do something, I will stream it and I'll let you guys know on my social medias. Follow them down below. My Twitter and my Insta is down there. Go say hi or something. I don't know. Anyways guys, it's been your boy Hedro. I love you guys as well. You wasted your time and I'll see you the generous later.